For more on all of this, we're joined live from Los Angeles by Agnaya Gregas. She is the author of a book called The Politics of Energy and Memory Between the Baltic States and Russia. And we want to thank you so much for joining us. Let me Hi. ask you uh, about this. Putin, of course, slapping these sanctions on the U.S., the U.S. doing the same, Obama imposing them on 20 Russians. Um, what do you make of the tit-for-tat sanctions back and forth, and how far can it go? Well, this is really Cold War-style tit-for-tat. The Putin sanctions, uh, they're really just for show. They really cannot hurt the U.S. government officials. Uh, you know, as uh, Senator McCain joked, uh, you know, he's not going to Siberia on spring break, and he doesn't have, uh, you know, a secret bank account in Moscow. But for Russia, you know, this really can have an impact. And, uh, you know, the, the goal here is that, um, you know, Putin's uh, inner circle would be unable to do business anywhere else outside of Russia. And um, I think we haven't seen the end of these sanctions. Well, let me ask you about that. Uh, do the sanctions on individuals really have an impact or change behavior? Because one would think some of these people could see this coming and could shift their resources elsewhere. Well, I think it could potentially have an impact, but only if these sanctions are more widespread to the broader Russian business elites. Um, because, you know, we well know that, you know, the Russian oligarchs, you know, they, they spend their time abroad, they send their children to schools and universities in the West, uh, and, you know, they certainly have their secret bank accounts. So I, the idea here is that um, if enough pressure is being exerted on, you know, on the Russian business elites, that they could in turn exert pressure on Kremlin and Putin to stop isolating uh, Russia and the global economy. Now, um, what do you make of the U.S. and, and Russian reaction? You, you brought up Senator John McCain. There's been some Russians who kind of act as though this is a badge of honor as well. You know, I think both sides have certainly tried to make light of the situation and make light of the sanctions. But they will mean a lot more for Russia. I mean, just on Thursday, you know, after the, the, sa the sanctions were announced, S&P ratings agency downgraded Russia's economic outlook to negative. And already the Russian economy is not looking that great. Um, the ruble is weak, uh, the stock market is weak, and uh, I think, you know, they could just spiral downwards. Natalie Fury's uh, piece, you heard one of those experts saying that he believes that this will backfire on the European Union because of their reliance on Russia and, of course, energy coming from Russia. What do you make of that uh, argument? Well, uh, I think certainly this can backfire on Russia. Uh, I think the U.S. Uh, shale gas revolution has, and the LNG technology has made it possible for, you know, gas to be exported to Europe where it wasn't able to before. And I think um, the European Union will be much more concerned uh, in the future in, uh, to be more secure from Russian gas. We, we also showed just a, a moment ago that Putin signing uh, Crimea into the, the Russian Federation on Friday. Um, what do you think is going to happen next uh, in this chess match, so to speak? Well, I think Crimea is just an appetizer for Putin. I think, uh, you know, Russia made it very clear that it looks to reestablish its influence in the former Soviet states and retake territory wherever they can. In his speech, Putin stated uh, that the Ruski, or the Russians, are the most divided nation in the world, and he's set on uh, reuniting the ethnic Russians in a Russian state, as he has done in Crimea, as he has arguably done in South Ossetia and Abkhazia. And I think, you know, we'll see some more action in eastern Ukraine, uh, potentially in Transnistria, in Moldova. So this is certainly not the end uh, of, uh, I would say, Russia's expansion. Agnaya Grigas uh, joining us from Los Angeles. Thank you so much. Thank you.